Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, talking a little base running. Uh, we're going to talk about how to cut the base, what type of route we want to take to be able to move up to the next base as quickly as possible. Whether we're going home to second, we're going first to third, we're going second to home. What's the best way to do it? Now, what players are taught at most levels, especially younger levels, is they want to take a question mark or a banana where they want to get, they hit the ball, they get way outside here so they can cut the base and get a good angle to second base, okay? What I want to talk to you about is a little bit different way to do it. When I was with the, the Cleveland Indians, they talked about, they called it a drive point. And what they said was, basically, we were trying to run in as straight of lines as possible. So instead of just running way out here, we're gonna try to run in straight lines, okay? But obviously we need to be able, it, it, you can't just run straight at the base, right? You can't run straight at the base and then turn and run straight at the base. If you could do that, if you're agile enough, then that'd be a pretty good idea to do because we're gonna waste time when we're getting out and around. But obviously we're not agile enough. So it'd be really difficult to do that. All right, but I want to try to run in as straight of a line as I possibly can because, again, it's going to save time. So what they had us do is when we hit the ball, we didn't take this big question mark out. We ran hard, straight, and we aimed for a point about right, about right here. Okay? So I'm aiming for that point there. I'm running hard. And then once I get to that point, now I'm going to try to bend it, right? I'm going to really try to bend it. I'm going to try to get my outside arm across, and I'm going to try to get in line with second base. So I'm running hard. I get to about right here, and now I'm going to really start to lean in and try to get myself going in as straight of a line as possible to the next base, okay? The thing is, I don't want, every, for every foot that I get outside the line, I've got to come back another foot to get in, in right? So if I'm, if I'm taking this big loop out here, and I'm wasting time going away from the base, well now I've got to come back in. So yeah, I might have made a good angle, but I've spent a whole lot of time doing it, okay? So I want to be straight, but not so much at the base that I have to stop or slow down the turn, okay? So we're trying to kind of play it in the middle there a little bit. And so, they did, again, they did all these studies, looked at what's the quickest way to get to each base. And the more I've done it, and the more I've looked at it, I agree with them. I want to be as straight a line as possible. If I aim just outside the bag, right, right about there. And now once I get to about here, now I'm going to really start to lean it in and try to get myself as much to the base as possible. I want to try, when I get to the base, I want to try to hit this thing so that I'm in line with the base. Okay, again, if I get way outside and I take this loop and I end up getting out this way, well now I've got to come back inside again. So every foot I get out, I've got to come a foot back in. So instead of running 90 feet, right, 90 feet from first to second, if I spend, if I get 10 feet out there, I've got to come 10 feet back in, I'm going to run 110 feet instead of 90 feet, okay? So I want to keep it as straight as I can while also be obviously being able to bend it and get back in line with second base or with the next base, okay? So just work on that. Base running is something that a lot of players don't ever really work on. Players think when it's like, whenever when the coach says, okay, hey, we're gonna work on base running today, let's get the let's get the home, we're gonna work on going home to second or first to third. Players are like, oh, conditioning practice, right? Base running is being able to make better turns absolutely improves your, your play as a baseball player, right? If you never practice it, if you just think you're gonna go into the game and just wing it, it's probably not gonna be as good as you want it to be, right? I'm not gonna go in and wing fielding the ground ball or catching a fly ball or hitting, right? But players just wanna kind of wing base running, all right? You've gotta work on it. So get out there and see how tightly you can keep it. How much of a straight line can you go and still being able to bend it so that you can get in line with second base as much as possible, okay? Hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up, all that stuff. Uh, check out the description box below. We've got a deal going on plate crate. If you click the link, type in Antonelli, get 50% off your first plate crate. Also have a link to our Patreon page where you can help support the channel. We've got a bunch of other stuff as well, so definitely check all that out. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.